Hello everyone. Are you ready to start your learning today? Good. Okay, so we'll start like we always do with our story map. I'm sure you're getting really good at it by now. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. The title of our story is The Leopard's Drum. One day there was a leopard called a Sibo who had a drum. First, the sky god Naomi wanted the drum, but Asibo said no. Next, Onini the python wanted the drum, but Asibo said no. After, Isono the elephant wanted the drum, but Asibo said no. Then Asraboa the monkey wanted the drum, but Asibo said no. Finally, Achi Cherry the tortoise tricked Asibo to get inside the drum. Nayami said, Well done, and gave Achi Cherry a hard shell. The end. Great. Okay, I think we're ready for today's lesson. Now, I have got two colours down here. I've got some blue card and I've got some orange card. And on these cards I've got some words. And our job today is to try and sort them all out because they're all muddled up. You might have also seen I've drawn some pictures on my board. Hmm. Do you think you can tell me who we've got? And can you remember their names? We've got Asibo, Naomi, Achi Cherry, Onini, Asraboa, and Isono. Now on these cards, we've got some words, and they're two different types of words. You might not have heard of these before, so this might be the first time. On the orange card, we've got words that are called adjectives. Can you say that word? Adjective. Very good. And that means a describing word. So it might be big, it might be small, it might be green, it could be happy, sad. All of those words are adjectives. They tell you a little bit about somebody. And then on the blue card, we've got some words called verbs. Can you say verb? Very good. And that means something you can do. So maybe I might say, can you run? And that's a verb word. Maybe can you jump? Very good. Can you spin? There we go. So these are all words that describe or tell us about the characters from our story. Okay, so you're going to do it with me. I'm going to show you a card and you've got to tell me where I should put it. So I'm going to need some blue cap over here. Lots and lots of this. It's your favorite thing, I'm sure. <laughs> and we're going to have a go at the first one. Okay. This is an adjective. Can you read it with me? It says b i g, big. Mm -hmm. Which one do you think is big? Uh, I think you're right. I think it is Isono the elephant. He is very big, isn't he? I'm going to put that one by him. Oh, okay. I've got another one now. So quite a tricky word. Well done if you can read it. If not, I'll break it up with you. M, E, N, mean. Which character is mean? Could be two, really. It could be a Sibo. And Naomi was a little bit mean as well. But I think, for me, it's a Sibo. He wouldn't even lend his drum for somebody just to have a little try. And that's a little bit mean, isn't it? So I'm going to put mean next to a Sibo. Ah, can you read this one? 
Let's read it together if not. U, O, N, long. Oh, who is long in our story? That's right. Anini, the snake, is very long. Let's pop that one there next to him. Mm, who do I have? What do I have next? Oh, it's a long word. Have a go at this one. Ch, e, k, e, ch, e, k, e, cheeky. Hmm. Which character is quite cheeky? The monkey, isn't it? Yeah, Asraboa is a cheeky monkey. Let's pop that one there. I've got two more and two characters left. Have a look at this word. Let's read it together. K I N D Kind. Who is quite kind? Well, I think actually Jerry is quite kind. Even though she did put um, a zero in the drum, she only wanted to help, didn't she? And I think she's quite a kind character, really. So that leaves one last one for Naomi. Now, oh, he did get a little bit like this. Let's have a go. K-R-O-S. K-R-O-S. Cross. That's right, he did get a little bit cross, didn't he? <laughs> And he ordered everybody to go and get that drum off a Sibo. Super. Wow, we've done a good job. We've done all of those adjectives describing our characters. Let's just read them one more time all together. A Sibo is mean. Naomi is cross. Achi Cherry is kind. Onini is long. Isono is big. Asraboa is cheeky. Great. Now let's go to the blue words, which are our verbs. Remember, these are doing words. If you can do it, it's verb. Oh, okay. Let's start with this one, shall we? You might need your sounds for this word. S w e m. Swing. Who can swing, do you think? Is it the elephant? <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be quite funny though. Yes, it's the cheeky monkey. He can swing. Okay, what do we have next? <laughs> well, this one's quite a funny word. <laughs> Let's see if you can read this and I'll help you if you don't know what it means. P -l -o -d. Plod. Plod. What does plod mean? Somebody who walks really slowly. Hmm, who do you think might walk really, really slowly? Do you think it's the leopard? No. Do you think it's the snake? No. Yeah, I think it's the tortoise, actually, Cherry. Plods along very slowly. <laughs> okay, oh, this one was a good one as well. Okay, let's use your sounds for the beginning at least. Ready? Ch, ah, j, ch, arj, charge. Do you know what the word charge means? Oh, yes. Now some animals, a bit like a rhino and somebody else, if they get cross, they charge at you. They run really, really, really fast and you have to get out of the way as quick as possible because they're not going to stop and that's called charging. Do you know which animal might do that? Maybe you've seen the video yourself. It's an elephant. Even though he's very friendly and very kind, oh, if he gets cross, get out of his way <laughs> because he can charge. All right, a few more to have a look at. It's a long word, but I think we can work it out. Ready? Slither. That one's an easy one, isn't it? Yeah, or Nini the python can slither. 
Very good. Okay, oh, I've got two more to have a look at. My short word here. Are you ready to read it with me? Er, a, n, er, a, n, run. Who do you think can run pretty fast? I think it's a SIBO. If you've seen some videos of leopards, they are very fast. That means we've got one last one. D, r, a, m, d, r, um, drum. Who can drum? It's a sky god. Yeah, he loved that drum. He really wanted to have a go. So he can drum. Wow, look at that. Look at all those words you've done. Super. Let's have a read of those using our sentence. He or she can. Okay, let's start with the SIBO. He can run. He can drum. She can plod. He can charge. He can slither. And last of all, he can swing. Great job. I don't have any space on my board, but your challenge today is to see if you can write those sentences with some of those words. If you can do all of those words, I would love that. Or if you think, oh, that's a bit much, maybe you just choose your favourite character. So I quite like Hatchy Cherry. So I might write, draw a picture of Hatchy Cherry and then I might write, she is kind and she can plod. So I've used those two sentences and put them together to describe my character. See if you can do a few of your own, okay? See you soon, bye.